Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this. I'm going to make some blade arms <coughs> to hold onto the blades. There's going to be a central spindle that's going to protrude uh, top and bottom to go in another bearing. There's going to be these pillow block bearings here. So not the best drawing. Let me try and get them sunlight. Pillow block bearings here and here. So the central spindle is going to fit into a frame. So <clears throat> this is all going to be connected up, bearing at the top, bearing at the bottom. I've got some a length of 70 by 70 pipe, uh, not pipe, uh, square tube. And basically what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to weld the bearing to that top and bottom perfectly centrally. Then the spindle will go through. It'll be perfectly centered. Then these arms are going to be welded on to this central <coughs> section, the core, and they're going to protrude far enough out so they're approximately near enough at the end of the can. <coughs> this is the blade, which is the oil drum. So it's obviously it's going to have one either side, and these I'm going to figure out a way to make these adjustable so that the blades if I wanted to the whole blade can slide out and I'll be able to mark it up on each side if I wanted to try with the blade out say uh, six inches one side and six inches the other then it would all be adjustable to slide over and it would bolt in <coughs> that's going to take some figuring out I think I know how to do it with my plasma cutter I can make bits like that and then I can cut out a central section and if that's welded on to the central bearing so it's not a very good square that's the bearing and then the other arm come across here uh, this isn't drawn scale then we cut out the channel again with the plasma cutter then <coughs> you've got adjustments all the way along here so that the if the blade was fully tight, sorry, the shadow's getting on my nerve. If the blade was fully tight, then it would be like that. Uh, but you could sl theoretically slide it out. Yeah, it's not a very good drawing. That's supposed to be there, like that. Uh, but you'll be able to slide it out to have the blade like that instead. And it'll be support bolted in all the way here. So that will go backwards and forwards and that will obviously be the same on the other side so the blade normally would kind of be like that and then if you want to have it out wider it will be like that. And <coughs> Obviously that means the top of the can will have to have something like that in so that's the top view down of the oil drum. That will have to have some kind of channel or something <coughs> maybe at intervals so you could have you wouldn't need holes that far down I don't know why I've drawn that but anyway you get the idea so this whole thing is going to be able to come in and out uh, if we have it on a, a good enough sliding mechanism maybe some kind of channel would be good uh, so it could, you could have it sliding in and out on springs which is probably overkill but you know why not think about it yeah, you could have you could have some kind of springs in here okay that was joined on so that as it went faster the blades would actually open up more oh dear dearie me that is the worst semicircle in history. So yeah, that's going to be the next bit. So I'm going to be making this out of steel. It's all out of steel. It's going to be welded, plasma cut. <clears throat> I've got another piece of steel tube, which is 1410, uh, and it's 70 by 70. Uh, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm actually going to cut two middle sections out, one here and then one the other side. And that's going to leave me with two very long pieces of steel like this. 
yeah like that forget the bottom bit that'll be an open channel and that will mean that I'll have two to make some kind of frame because they're 1410 long and I'm only going to need each drums 570 across I've measured it 845 high so the post's going to go in there and then obviously that'll be flipped so yeah it, sh it should work it should be very because of the bearing there yeah and the spindle protruding by if I if I can get a meter uh, we've got you know 15 cent um, no it's only seven and a half centimeters each each top end top and bottom that should be enough but that's going to fit into a big frame that's the frame so that'll be the top arm that'll be the bottom arm and that'll be the spindle and it'll protrude slightly from the top there'll be another bearing there obviously the bearing at the top of the assembly there the bearing it there and then another bearing here and from the spindle will hopefully take the power to another spindle that's how I want it so we can have a motor on here providing the power <coughs> and we'll be getting some juice hopefully sorry about my crappy drawing hopefully you get the idea anyway we shall proceed now Thank